over. Now, let's move over to Division Three. Nothing to do with the playoffs. Everything to do with the top transfer portal classes. This list compiled by our friends over at Athlink. Uh, this shows off, in their opinion, using their databases and stats, which I, I will say are pretty thorough, it seems. This is compiling what they believe are the best transfer portal classes heading into the fall of 24. So for those of you just listening, we got Grove City, UW-Whitewater, Hardin-Simmons, Randolph-Macon, and Lacrosse actually rounding out the top five there. And what you'll notice about all these teams, like all the teams on this list, just about all the teams on this list are like contenders. Right? Like, you're not, I think in, in Division Two and Division One, sometimes you get some big time transfer portal classes from uh, guys at bigger schools who are transferring down and get a lot more playing time. Like, these are guys that are benefiting, these are teams, excuse me, that are benefiting from lar- people at larger schools transferring down to do that same thing, but at a high level Division Three football team. All of the, Most of these teams uh, kind of fit that bill. Going on the rest of the list, though, number six, Johns Hopkins. You got Aurora, John Carroll, Mary Hart Baylor's on this list. Nichols was kind of a surprising one. Maryville, Mount Union, Baldwin Wallace, Cortland up there, and uh, Centery and Framingham State. That rounds out the top ten. Now, I'll tell you what. I tried to do a little bit of research here. I tried to figure out, okay, Grove City's number one, Whitewater's number one. What makes these classes the best? I'm just trying to go out and do some Googling, did some research earlier today. I'll tell you one thing, and if I know one thing, it is so hard to find good information on small school transfers and small school football and news in that regard. I would love to be the platform that breaks all that news for you guys, but damn it, I can't find shit. I can't find anything. It is really hard. Um, I did find... Uh, Grove City at least posted kind of like a thread of some of the new guys on their Twitter that they uh, were planning on adding here this fall. And so it looks like you've got a defensive back from Utica that they're excited to have. How about a defensive back from Baldwin Wallace, a wide receiver from Susquehanna that's got a big-time build, 6'3", 230. Um, so that's just some of the guys that they're bringing in. How about a linebacker and DB from Bucknell? So talk about a bigger, uh, higher level coming down to the D3 level. Keystone College bringing in a kicker. And then Salisbury, they've got a DB coming from there. So um, quite, a, quite, a, quite a spread, right? And not too many of the larger schools kind of taking advantage of that regard. But that's what I could find from Grove City. Whitewater's got a DB coming in from Bemidji, it looked like, and a couple other guys that I could find. But it was, it was kind of sparse looking for news there. UW Lacrosse seems like one of the bigger uh, additions kind of on this list is a big-time tight end and quarterback transfer duo from Southwest Minnesota State. The tight end, I know, had quite a bit of uh, uh, expectations coming into the portal there. I had seen quite a bit of production. And then um, UWL, we talk about lacrosse. Kaiser Helterbrand is out of the picture over there. So that quarterback transfer could be a very timely one for Matt Janis and company over there in Wisconsin. So that's what I saw, at least from kind of that top five. I couldn't find too much on Randolph or uh, Harden-Simmons, at least. You know, it's just, it's just so difficult to find these things. But there's your list. That's uh, supposedly the top 10 transfer portal classes uh, coming into the fall here, 24 for Division Three football. We'll see if this has any bearing on what these teams do. and uh, Or I shouldn't say top 10. This is top 16. I, I messed that one up royally. Um, but this is... Uh, We'll see if this has any bearing on the season and, and how these teams kind of perform and, and what kind of uh, impacts those those the transfer additions make.